Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Secrets of a Busy Mum. Today I am going to talk about getting organised for this year. I love organising as you know. I love my cleaning, I love my organising. It just makes everything run so much smoother. That is why today I am going to give you my tips and tricks on how to have a more organised year. So let's get started. My first tip is a must. You must have some form of planner or organisation system for the year. Now for me, I have two systems that I like to use. I have my Google Calendar where I organise most of my days. But I am a hard copy person, so therefore I like my little planners. And yes, I like black, if you can't tell. I like to have this one, which is by Healthy Mummy. It's a great organiser, it is easy to set out. But I use this one for my every day to day. I organise my kids events, I organise appointments, I organise business plans, everything goes in this book. This one is my little pocket manager. This fits in my handbag. I don't know who it's by, but when I find out, I will tell you and I'll leave it in the description. But this one fits in my handbag easily. So when I am making appointments, I can make sure that I don't have a conflict. But no matter what sort of system you like, have one in place. If it's taking me like three years to find a system that works for me and that's okay as long as you find one that works for you you are set number two tip is to set your goals I cannot stress this enough I've met countless women over the last year who have said to me how do you get so much done and that is because I set my goals I have my major goals I have my sub goals and then I have my steps to take. The point of making goals is so that you have something to work towards. These are aims that you are trying to accomplish for the year. It's all well and good to say these are my goals but you've got to have steps in place to get there and that's what you need to do. You need to be able to have manageable steps to take to reach your goals and you need to hold yourself accountable. When you have the right system for setting goals in place, you can accomplish anything. My number three step to being more organized this year is to have daily to-do lists. So I have this little weekly plan right here, but it's broken down into days. And then at the bottom, it's got things to do. I basically have this sitting on my bedside table and I will write down what I need to accomplish each day. And then I can just tick them off. Without your daily to-do list, your days won't be as organized because if you don't really know what you're doing each day, you're not as productive. You don't have that drive to tick those things off the list. So having a daily to-do list is really important. You have to understand that with having daily tasks, they need to be manageable. There's no point in giving you like 20 things that you want to accomplish in the day. It's just not gonna happen. But on this, I will usually write all the things that's in here onto here because it makes it simple. I can check it every morning. And if that's not working, then I will grab a notepad and I will write down what I want to do in more specific steps. And I'll usually do that in the morning before my kids get up while I'm having my coffee. Because it's just easier when no one's up to just write down what you want to do for the day. And then I know when I'm going to do it, how I'm going to do it, how's it going to go. I still can check everything off the list. My number four tip, you need to have a cleaning plan. It is so important if you want to keep a well-maintained home with as little effort as possible that you come up with a cleaning plan. So every day I have my set tasks that I do. So I vacuum the floors, I wipe down benches, I do the dishes, I do a load of laundry every day because those are my set daily tasks. So every day I will do those no matter what. Then you have to have extra tasks. So every week I try to get two or three extra tasks done each day. So I might say on Monday I'm cleaning the bathroom, on Tuesday I'm 
mopping the floors. On Wednesday, I am decluttering something. I don't know. But you get the point. And my most important thing is the easiest way to come up with your own specific cleaning task list is to just do your normal cleaning over a one to two week period and write down every cleaning task that you do for each day. And you'll see that, oh, well, I've been doing these tasks every day so they're my normal daily chores then on tuesday i did such and such wednesday i did something different so make that your weekly task for each day and that is the easiest way to come up with your very own manageable cleaning task for yourself my last and final tip is to try and have a meal plan. Now this doesn't have to be like extravagant. I'm a simple person. I'm too busy to worry about that stuff. I went to Kmart and I bought this meal plan pack. Now I think they still have these available but I've been using this for the last six months and it's working great for me. It's broken up into each meal of the day and it works. I usually only fill out the dinner because I don't really need to plan anything else. But for dinner, I just write down what I'm having each night for two week period because I shop every two weeks. So on this, I will fill out, like say I have spaghetti bolognese on Monday, I might have tuna mornay another night, I might have fish and veggies another night. Whatever you are planning, write it down on your list. Every night, if I don't have a meal plan in place, my partner will come home and will go, what are we having for tea? I don't know. Gee, you're a help. I know I am. but. Meal plans just take the hassle out. You know what you're going to have. You know when you got to prepare it. And it can fit in with your schedule. So on a couple of nights a week, my children have activities that run to the, into my prep time for tea. And that's okay. I just change those. On those days, I might do a slow cook meal. I might do an easy meal. If we decide that we're going to have takeout for one night a week, we write down what takeout we're having. Then my partner will pick up the takeout on the way home. This very inexpensive pad. You can use a scrap of paper. Um, if you've got a white fridge, grab a whiteboard marker, write it on there. It rubs off anyway. So those are my five tips to having a more organized year and starting it on the right foot. I hope that you have found this to be helpful and that it wasn't too crazy, overwhelming or boring or whatever. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.